Mid-Missouri Congressman Mark Alford was part of the delegation to the region. Sinclair reporter Kermit Miller spoke with him today about what he learned since the Hamas attack. The chaos of October 7th, 2023, defined by the indiscriminate violence and brutality against non-combatant victims, is still hard to watch. And the aftermath, whole villages burned to the ground and the remnants of family life revealing how it was extinguished in a fit of rage, still dot the Israeli countryside. What did you learn? about the situation there that you didn't know before you went? You can only see so much on television when you actually go there and you walk into the burned out homes and you see where people were butchered alive a year ago. That changes you. Mark Alford this week released video of himself and several other congressional Republicans on a tour of the war zone during the first week of April. This is the Nova Festival site here in Israel. We're on October 7th. About 390 individuals were slaughtered here. Alford goes on to describe terrorists hang gliding into the site armed with AK-47 assault rifles. The American group also visited a kibbutz, a community of Israelis in Gaza, generally organized for farm work. This one was home to some 400 families. Israeli officials say roughly 150 Hamas terrorists attacked it, raping, killing, or kidnapping about a third of the population. These terrorists that you can see where they lived walked across the field and essentially attacked these villages. And it's very difficult to explain to people um, that evil is real. Mark Alford's ethics filing indicates the trip was paid for by the American Israel Education Foundation, a sister to Israel's heavily financed and often controversial U.S. lobbying organization, APAC. Are you confident that you got a fair look at the situation from the AIEF? Are right. you at all concerned that the plight of the Palestinian people was not represented here? I think that's a very fair question. APAC has a lot of influence in Congress. There's no doubt about that. But I was behind Israel before I even thought about getting into Congress. This has not swayed me one way or the other. Alford says the group met with Benjamin Netanyahu, who promised to continue to fight with Hamas with or without aid from the United States. He says he expects to be the only member of the House Armed Services Committee involved in defense budget reauthorization talks before the holidays. And he will make sure financial support for Israel does not wane.